September 2021 is WTSO's 15th birthday, and I've been asked to roll out a few special packs in order to celebrate, and maybe educate just a little bit. For these specials, we're mashing up wines from prior tastings so that we can look at them from a different perspective. These are like fun remixes of our greatest hits. There's no denying that Big Bold Reds are probably the most popular wine that I work with. Everybody loves a huge, juicy red wine that just warms the soul. But generally speaking, I think most are apt to reach for a California wine first because they're more approachable and easier to understand. So I want to show you two classic European reds that you'll find every bit as amazing. In fact, these two old world wines existed long before and inspired the blueprint for many modern red wines. When I ask red wine lovers what they enjoy the most, there are a few common things that they always mention. One is a rich, smooth feel in the mouth. Another is intense, juicy berry flavors. Yet another is the spicy, woody flavors of an oak-aged wine. All of those characteristics can be found in these two wines. And it's no surprise, these two seemingly separate regions are actually related. saint emilion is located in the infamous French region of Bordeaux, where since the 8th century they've been making wines from the Merlot grape. The town was once a rest stop for French pilgrims in transit to the religious shrine of Santiago de Compostela in Spain. The Merlot grape is known for having a super rich and silky feel, which is why in Bordeaux it's used to soften up more austere wines. Or in the case of saint emilion simply enjoyed as the main attraction. Merlot brings dark berries, silky body, and chocolatey notes to this equation, and it's been a huge inspiration for a lot of modern full-bodied reds. Rioja is a region in the north of Spain that has ties to ancient Rome as well. It was established by Catholic monks as, get this, a rest stop along the pilgrimage path to Santiago de Compostela. And in the 1800s, when France's vineyards were devastated by insect blight, Bordeaux winemakers came to Rioja to seek employment. The French taught the Spanish how to barrel age their wines, and that's what Rioja brings to the mix. They rely heavily on oak barrels to give their wines spicy character and longevity in the cellar. Bold, intense, and silky, spicy, and complex. That's what these two ancient relatives gave to the world of wine, and now we should taste them to see for ourselves. Let's start with this Saint Emilion from Leo de Gaffaliere. On the nose, there's a nice savory plum scent, just a kiss of mint and some oak too. It's a pleasing savory wine with tons of strawberry and cherry flavors in there. That hint of mint again, and there's some strong tannins that should mellow out over time. I love how this wine is fruity, herbal, and spicy all at the same time. Next, let's try this Rioja Gran Reserva from Bodegas Franco Españolas. Gran Reserva spent two years in barrel, so I expect this to be a fairly oaky wine. It's also a 2011, so it's a little older, it's gonna be very complex. Almost immediately, you get aromas of red currant, cranberry, and plums here, but there's something additional that's pretty interesting. The smell of dill. And those sort of dusty, dry dill aromas and flavors are coming from American oak barrels, which Rioja wines are known for using. Lots of tart cranberry, cherries, and red currants, and that two years of oak aging is really coming through on the finish with tons of balsam and cedar notes. Well, if you listen to that laundry list of descriptors that I just gave for this Rioja, there's a lot to unpack here. It's a beautifully complex wine. Well, there's obviously a lot going on with these wines, everything from the mouthfeel to the complexity of flavors here, which gives us a lot of opportunities to partner them up with food. So let's talk about some food pairings. When you have a wine with strong tannins, it could always take a little protein to help mitigate that a bit. We're gonna pair this scent of Liana with some spicy barbecue shrimp. The sweetness of the barbecue sauce is also gonna to help to bring out some of those fruit flavors. And in the wine world, we say if it grows together, it goes together. For that reason, we're gonna pair up our Rioja with a black bean burrito. Get some local flavor going there, bring out all those Latin spices to accentuate some of the spicier notes in this wine. Well, the world of wine never ceases to amaze me, mostly because of how interconnected it is with every aspect of life. Today, we learned that a French wine and a Spanish wine actually share a mutual past, and together they inspired the flavor profile for many modern red wines. So what do you think of our little mashup here? Do you think I did a good job in connecting these wines together? Do you agree or disagree with my assessment? I always welcome your comments in the section below. Thanks always for joining me for these weekly tastings and of course the WTSO, happy 15th. Cheers.